Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. This one is the limited uh, trim, and this one has the 2.0 turbo engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this Santa Fe has. Coming to the engine of this Santa Fe, this one is the 2.0 uh, turbo engine. This one has 235 horses and 260 feet of torque. And this engine is paired to an eight-speed transmission and it gets 20 in the city. 26 uh, highway and 22 combined. So if you guys are curious about this color, this color is called Pertafino Gray and honestly it looks really nice on the Santa Fe. But coming to the front, the Santa Fe has a really nice cool uh, headlight design. So in the top, they're going to be the daytime running lights and I really like the fact that the daytime running lights are up and they're they are very nice and slim. Coming down here, you will have the high beam and the low beam and then you will have, of course, the turn signal and all the way in the bottom, you will have the fog lights. But overall, the design looks really nice and I really like the big uh, grill uh, the Santa Fe has. It just gives it a really nice, meaner, aggressive look. And then coming to the Hyundai uh, logo, right underneath it, they're going to be a camera. And then all the way in the bottom, they're going to be, that's gonna be the sensor for all the uh, safety uh, features uh, this Santa Fe has. But overall, the design looks really good and I really like the uh, design of the Santa Fe. Coming to the side of the Santa Fe, it looks really nice and I really like the overall uh, design and size of the Santa Fe. But coming to the rims, the rims are 235, 55, 19, and they actually have a really nice cool uh, black inserts in them. And I just like the design overall. And then coming up here, you will have a chrome window sills and right all the way up top, you will have a uh, brushed aluminum roof racks and they give the SUV a really nice look. But overall, I really like the uh, side view of the Santa Fe. So coming to the back of the Santa Fe, it looks really nice. And I really like the uh, back of the Santa Fe. The tail lights are very nice and aggressive. Everything has nice sharp lines. And uh, overall, everything uh, looks very nice. But coming to the tail lights, the tail lights have a really nice cool design to them. And uh, I really like them. Coming down here, you will have the Santa Fe badge. And then in the middle, of course, you will have the Hyundai. And all the way to the right, you will have the 2.0T, since this one is the uh, turbo uh, 2.0 turbocharged engine. And of course, it will have the H uh, track next to it, since this one is the all wheel drive. Uh, and then coming right here, I, I really like the brushed aluminum. And then, of course, you will have the turn signal and uh, the reverse light, and of course, a reflector. But overall, the design looks really, really nice. So that's the key for the Santa Fe, and it looks really nice. And it has a really nice uh, weight to it. It has four buttons on it, lock, unlock, trunk release, or tailgate release, and the panic button. To open the tailgate, there's three buttons. There's one on the key, there's one right there where the uh, sticker is, and there's one inside the SUV. So the Limited has a automatic uh, tailgate and uh, coming inside there is a good amount of space right here the floor is a little bit lifted uh, because you could actually put stuff right in the bottom and coming to the left you will have a speaker coming to the right you will have a 12 volt and uh, two buttons to drop the seats down right here you will have a storage uh, place and then you you'll have a uh, cover right here or privacy cover that you could close or open and the seats are not going all the way down since the uh, two front seats are not moved up. But overall, the back storage or the trunk uh, has a good amount of uh, space. Coming to the front door, the front door looks really nice. I really like the design of it. Coming right here, you will have uh, nice soft materials. I really like this uh, trim on the door. And then coming to the door, door handle, door handle is a little bit on the lighter side, but feels really good. Right here, you will have memory seats. Coming down here, you will have the window switches and the window switches feel really, really good. And they are very high quality. Coming right here, you will have door locks, mirror controls and all these uh, kind of stuff. Uh, right here, you will have, of course, a door handle. And then this uh, armrest is not as soft as I want it to be, uh, but everything looks really nice. I really like this trim right here and I really like the design of the uh, speakers and those are infinity speakers by the way coming right here you will have a small cup holder or bottle holder and there's barely any uh, space in the door to put anything but of course right here this is plastic which is expected coming inside you'll have a very nice soft uh, seats and they are very nice and comfortable to sit in and I honestly was surprised but they feel really good and they look really good Coming to the back, the door is the same as the front. It will have nice soft materials up here. And then this is wrapped in leather. And then the window switch feels really good. And there's heated uh, seats in the back. And then of course, coming to the bottom, you'll have uh, plastic in the bottom, which is expected. 
but coming right here you will have the same uh, chrome or uh, brushed aluminum trim and the speaker is the same which is very good and I like the fact that the door the, the back door is the same as the front door and I like the fact that Hyundai did not cheap out on the back so coming to the second row the second row has a good amount of space and there is a good amount of leg room and uh, those uh, seats are comfortable just like the front ones and I really like the design of them coming right here you will have of course an armrest and then there is two cup holders right here and then coming all the way inside you will have uh, AC vents a very nice uh, storage place and in the bottom you will have two USB and a an AC outlet which is very good and you don't really see an AC outlet in a lot of SUVs or cars, which is very good. So coming inside, the Santa Fe looks very nice and spacious right here. And I really like the design of uh, this Santa Fe. Coming down here, you will have brightness control, you can keep assist, uh, blind spot. And you could lock the back wheels or you could actually lock all the wheels in the in hyundai and kia products uh, coming right here you will have a button for the tailgate and then you will have the traction control in the bottom and then right here you will have a really nice uh very high quality buttons and uh, they just feel really good and i really like the design of them coming to the right you will have the cruise control and of course the uh, adaptive cruise control and all the safety features and then of course coming to the gauges the gauges have a really nice cool uh, design to them and uh, the middle screen is LCD which is very good and I really like the design overall of the gauges coming to the left you will have of course the headlight uh, controls coming to the right you will have the wiper controls and coming down here you will have a really nice cool looking engine start stop button coming to the screen the screen is an 8 inch touch screen and it looks really nice I really like the design of it and uh, feels uh, really good and sturdy and uh, it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And of course, this is the all new uh, Hyundai and uh, Kia system. And it's very nice and responsive. Coming down here, you will have nice looking AC vents. And I like the fact that when you click on the uh, emergency button, this flashes. I really like the chrome around it. And when you move this to the left, it will lock the vents, which is very good. But coming down here, you will have a really nice cool design, AC control or climate control and it's a dual climate control which is very good and i really like the look of it coming down here you will have heated seats cold seats and heated steering wheel all the way in the bottom you will have a usb an aux and another usb and then you will have a 12 volt outlet and then right here you will have a wireless charging pad and then coming to the shifter the shifter feels really good and um, i really like the design of it of course this will control the eight speed uh, transmission and it has a sport mode and then coming to the cup holders the cup holders have a good amount of uh width uh, to them and uh they're not bad i really like the uh, plastic around them depends if you have a bigger cup or a smaller cup so your cup does not uh, move around a lot but coming down here you will have uh, of course the sensor and then you will have the uh, 360 view camera it does not turn on until you actually put the transmission in drive and then of course it will pop, pop up and then of course when you turn this uh, the steering it will turn left or right and then of course you will have the auto hold and then you will have the electronic e-brake hill descent engine uh, stop to save gas and then of course you have the drive modes and when you change the drive modes the gauges change which is very good coming to the armrest the armrest is nice and soft and i really like the stitching around it and right here you will have a place to put a phone or a key and uh, then inside you will have a removable tray which is very good inside you won't have any uh, USB or 12 volt outlet, but there is a good amount of space inside. Coming to the mirror, the mirror is a little bit on the bigger side. It will have couple buttons on it. Coming all the way up here, you will have a glasses holder, of course, and then all the way up here, you will have a um, LED lights, which is very good and really like the design of uh, the lights. They look really nice and high uh, quality. Uh, and then of course you will have the sunroof uh, controls and then you will have a couple more binds. This one has the panoramic sunroof, which is very good. And of course with more, uh, uh, of course with a bigger sunroof, of course you will have more light in the SUV. So we'll feel very nice and spacious in here. Coming to the glove box, the glove box has a good amount of space in it. And then right on top of the glove box, you will have a really nice storage shelf. And I really like the design inside. And I noticed something right here. This is very nice and it just feels really good and feels very high quality. 
but overall I really like the design of the Santa Fe and uh, the seats are very comfortable and the design looks very good. So I'm going to take the Santa Fe around the parking lot just to show you how it drives and by the way I'm not sure if you guys could see but there is a heads up display there and uh, looks very nice and crisp. It's very nice and high quality. I'm going to go ahead and take the Santa Fe around the parking lot and first impression of the Santa Fe it drives very nice and it's very responsive this one is the 2.0 turbocharged engine so of course it's gonna have more horsepower and uh, torque but overall uh, drives very nice the steering wheel is very nice and light and I really like that and especially on like in parking lots like this you really need a very nice soft uh, steering wheel but overall I really like the uh, design of the Santa Fe and drives very nice and smooth but overall it drives very nice and smooth and I really like it and uh, uh, the suspension is very nice and soft and uh, just uh, feels really good honestly but anyways guys uh, that's it for this video I hope you guys liked it I would like to thank Meriden Hyundai and Frank for providing me this 2020 Hyundai uh, Santa Fe and if you guys are interested, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description. So guys, if you like this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.